Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, back for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And I am going to be taking everything that we talked about, both what I learned myself and all of the great uh, input that I got from all of you, uh, to apply to this same battle, this battle cruiser versus dreadnought battle, and we're going to make it happen this time. We're going to we're going to bring about a victory. Uh, I'm just going to look real quick at all of these things and uh, see what could be the best option as far as what we want to do. Um, last time we did survivability and maneuverability, which I think it's probably the way I want to go again, just because everything else went so well that I don't want to mess with that too much. Uh, I just want to make a few changes. So, well, you know what? Hold on. Because right here we've got a 20% bonus to gun base accuracy. So I think we're going to go with enhanced firepower because I just was not causing enough damage the last time. Uh, so obviously, first of all, we kill range. Uh, we are going to go ahead and bring down the bulkheads just because I don't think there's going to be much of an issue um, with that. Uh, and then from there, we just do kind of some of the same stuff we've been doing. We're going to do some of these things. So let me go ahead and go with towers. And I'm going to go with the advanced tower this time uh, for the accuracy. Also, because I'm primarily going to be f like kind of going away from him, I feel like I'll probably put one turret up front and two in the back uh, since that tended to be what I did this last time. Uh, that said, eh, let's hold on. Centerline guns, and I'm also going to go with 14 inch, but two of them. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to stick this bad boy way up front so he's got the best possible angle. Um, let's go ahead and move that up some. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Funnels. We're going to go with a, a nice big funnel. Uh, just to go ahead and get the max we can out of the speed, but here's the problem. I got to figure out where the secondary tower's got to go. Yeah, it's not going to fit there. Well, hold on. Can we move this funnel? Can we get that? Yeah, the funnel will go inside of there. Perfect. Okay. All right, let's get the secondary tower. I don't know if we're going to get two guns on the rear or not, but we're going to give it a try. Yeah, it looks like we can. All right, we're going to go with centerline guns. We're going to go with two 14-inch. So they'll give us a, a total of only six guns, but I'm hoping they'll be more accurate, and that'll certainly solve my ammunition problem. All right, so that leaves me now with about 1,000 tons, but we're going we're gonna to fix that through a couple of other changes that we're going to make. Let's take a look here. Um, we might drop speed down a little bit because we know we don't need that much speed to outrun him. So that saves me a lot of weight right there. Uh, range finder, obviously, we definitely want to get the best one we possibly can. Um, I don't know that this is going to make a huge difference. So let's start with going as high as we can on belt armor. I think seven's probably enough. I'm going to protect these towers at least a little bit better than I did. Protect the turrets. Don't have any secondary guns, so that's not going to matter. I only have one barbette, so I'm not entirely sure that I care too much about that. Um, we do want to get some citadel protection, so that's going to add to the weight. I'm not worried about the hull uh, for obvious reasons. I do want to go to TNT, which is what I think I had before. It does increase the, the chances of a fire, but that's not a huge deal. Um, after weight, kind of a problem, but we expected that. I don't know if I can move any further forward with anything or not. doesn't look like it. No, we're kind of stuck there. All right. So we've still got plenty of money and quite a bit of weight that I can go with. So I think we'll go ahead and upgrade our turrets. 
I can go a little better with armor. And maybe... Ah, see, I'm worried about the ammo detonation with that. I guess it's not that much higher of a chance. But let's... I don't know how much I really need deck armor just because I'm not sure that the distance I'm going to be at is going to allow for him to be hitting my deck. But we're definitely going to add to the belt armor. Going to protect the turret some more. I think we're pretty good there. I've still got some weight. Let's go ahead just because and add a few one barrel eight inch guns to the sides just in case because I'm just you know a little bit concerned about running out doesn't look like there's anywhere on the turret or on the tower to build that so um, yeah let's give it a try I still probably could do a little bit more with armor just because I'm not quite maxed out yet let's add another inch to the towers Oh, we've still got some room here. I'm going to go another. There we go. Okay, let's give this a try. All right, so I played through that, and I was winning, but, boy, those guns were not accurate at all. So we're going to go with, um, let's see. We're going to go back to three-barrel 13,000s because uh, they just, the 13-inch, the 13, 13 uh, three-barrel 13-inch were just way more accurate than what I'm dealing with now um, and then these are really inaccurate at that range but those are going to be for close range if I come to it uh, everything else I'm going to keep the same I am going to try to add another gun though if I can I just don't know that there's the range for it yeah I just can't squeeze another one in there. Ship's overweight now, though, because I went with the bigger guns or the the more guns. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of armor for that. We'll go with some belt armor and a little bit of the deck armor too, because he wasn't hitting me much on my deck anyhow. I'll definitely keep the automatic reloading, but maybe we'll kind of. Go back to the regular turrets because my turrets aren't going to be turning all that much anyhow. You know what? For as little as those extra guns are going to do for me, I would rather have the armor than the extra guns. We're just going to go with what we got. Take our chances. Okay. I think we've got what I want now. Oh, man. Part of me tells me says I'd really like to have these super heavy shells. Okay, that does add some to the weight. Um, I still don't think I need quite that much speed. All right, we'll go right there. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. He spotted to the north. Let's immediately make sure we're on AT shells. Let's turn to the north, let's find him, and then we'll immediately turn away, slow down, and start firing. And then we're just going to let him chase me, and hopefully do exactly what we did before, but without running out of shells first. And I have more armor this time, and a better funnel, so that should help. Okay, there he is. Slow down and turn. Make sure I turn properly here. Alright, let's see how many guns he's got. 
There's way more guns than he had last time. When I fought this before I started recording, he did not have that many guns. That's alright. It definitely changes, and I think because I have more guns, maybe it's kind of like the scaling on Ultimate General Civil War. I did land a hit. Got some fire going already. Pretty lucky to nail one that soon. Let's see what the distance is. About two kilometers. I'd like to get a little further away than that. But I'm pretty happy with that angle at the moment. Because I can get all my guns firing still. Gonna sit tight here for a while and watch what happens. Alright, we're ready to close. Identified. Let's see what he's got. The verite. Truth. He doesn't have a lot of... A lot of shells for those 12-inch guns. I've got way more than he does, so... We'll definitely let him uh, run out of those. Although he's only firing two at a time from each one, so those will probably last. I mean, that's 90 shots. That will last a while, I guess. There's a hit. Mid belt. I'm going to go ahead and speed up a little bit. I want to put a little more distance between me and him. I want to get it up closer to nine. Getting a little closer. It's about eight and a half now. But I don't like how fast I'm going. It's going to make it hard to hit him. What's his max speed? Oh, he can go 25 and a half knots for a battleship. That's pretty good. No wonder I can't seem to outrun him. Honestly, that makes him more of a battle cruiser. I mean, his armor's only eight and a half inches thick. I got the speed. He's 29,000 tons. I'm 20.
Let me go ahead and turn some more now. Got him down to 90, 90%. And he's trying to close the gap on me. be a hit this time. There we go. Oh. Yeah, they're still going to land behind him. Oh. It does not seem like the 5% or so that I'm being promised as far as my accuracy goes right now. There we go. Two hits. spread a little bit, that helps. Mostly on the outside though. I'm gonna slow down a little bit more. I don't know if that's gonna help. Looks like it did slightly. That in the distance is closed. Come on, let's get a hit. There we go. Still at 85%. Close it down to 6.3 with that. Come on, that's got to be a hit right there. Oh, so close. being that close.
landed a few on me. As soon as he gets closer, he starts hitting me. So we got him the distance. Oh, there's a nice hit. I've got some good hits on both of his big guns. They're both somewhat damaged. Not a lot, but some. There's a hit. Another hit. distance now. 6.1 kilometers. Still a little closer than I'd like to be. But we'll take it for now. Might be a hit here. Ah. I think he's conserving ammo. Yeah, he's down to 65 on the one gun. Where am I? 639, alright. I am not coming close on anything right now. I'm gonna slow down. He's not turning toward me, so he's not really gonna get any closer. So hopefully my change in speed will help me with my accuracy a little bit. Definitely doesn't feel like I'm getting 10% hit rate. Yeah, see that's why I'm I'm getting those turns. I'm accidentally clicking in places where it's making a turn. There's a hit. Uh, I was hoping. So close. So I'm going to speed up a little bit. I'm going to try to get out in front of him. If I can. 
I'm gonna keep an eye out from this side for a little while. our distance now. I'm down to 4.8 kilometers. I want to try and get him to ex expend the rest of his arm, his 12-inch uh, shells on that one gun. But he won't do it till he gets closer. Oh, there's a nice one. shells I'm using here, but let's just keep looking. Down to three kilometers. I don't want to get any closer, but I want him to fire those shots. Nice. two more, but he's not doing a lot of damage. They're hitting my belt, my belt by far my thickest armor, so. He's down to just 41 shots with that rear 12 inch. protected. Let's start spreading the distance a little bit again. Just 
25 shells left on that rear 12 inch gun. Oh, there we go. Took out his tower, got a nice hit scored there. 466 damage. Over penetrated though. Let's get away from him. Still in pretty good shape. I mean, we're at 73%. It's all from getting close. But I think we've got him. I've still got plenty of shells. Fire still raging. There he goes. All right, the fire did him in. Just had to light him up all the way along at once. All right, so that went much, much better that time. Honestly, didn't do a whole lot different. Um, just had much better armor, and that seemed to help. And I landed some decisive hits. So there you have it. Uh, just a couple of key tweaks makes all the difference in the world. So as always, use uh, the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know you want, what you want to see me fight next. There's lots of options still out there, battles I haven't won yet. So we'll give something else a try here in the near future. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon.